How's it going, people? Well, ship it away at this fine publication here. It's one of the better ones. I've been enjoying it, actually. Let's see. Okay, we are now in <coughs> that section. Part one, what happens when you die. And there's a little <coughs> quote here. It is appointed for men to die once, but after this, the judgment. That's Hebrews 9, 27. So much for that page. All right. All right. What is life? Death has most often been defined as the end of life. But what is life? Well, you didn't even really do a good job of explaining what death is. State of being not alive, and life is being a state of not being dead. How's that? There we go. Ah. And how did it begin on planet Earth? Oh, boy. Ah. If we want to understand the secret of what happens when we die... It's important to know the nature of life, including how it started on this planet, because, I mean, yeah, we got ideas, and some of them are pretty good, but, I mean, honestly, <laughs> we're further along than uh, these primitives were that wrote the Bible. And still, I don't know that that helps us with uh, death, except to know that 99.9% .9 of everything that ever lived uh, ain't alive now. All right. Uh, in the book of Genesis, which means beginnings, we find the story of the creator making Adam the first human being, according to the Bible, on the sixth day of creation, uh, God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female. Well, none of that spare rib business, huh? <laughs> He created them. Genesis 127. So you need to go to this chapter 2 to get the other version. That's the Sunday school version. <laughs> A more complete picture of the creation of Adam is found in the next chapter. God, I should read ahead, I suppose, but... Notice the details. The Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed life into his nostrils, the breath of life. That's Genesis 2, 7. Did you notice them? God combined two elements to create Adam. Wow. Was one of them magic? Um, the first element is the dust of the ground, Hebrew Adama, which simply means the soil, dust, or earth, or Lauren Green, you know, on Battlestar Galactica, I don't know, um, Adama. <laughs> we see the truth of this when a body decomposes at death, when... The dust will return to the earth as it was, according to Ecclesiastes 12.7. Further, after Adam sinned, God told him, In the sweat of your face, you shall eat bread till you return to the ground, for out of it you were taken. 
From dust you are, and to dust you shall return. Genesis 3.19 The second element in the creation of Adam came directly from God. The Lord breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Yeah, because according to the Tanakh, uh, the Old Testament, uh, you breathed your first breath and then you were truly human. Yeah, that's why the miscarriage, you know, that in the Bible that, you know, aborts the fetus, only elicits a fine from the judges, but if the mother dies, then it's a capital crime and they have to go, to, then they have to be executed. Because, you know, they actually killed a human being that had breathed a lot of times. Got to draw that breath if you're truly alive. Ah. <sighs> God used divine breath, joined with dust, <laughs> to create a living being. Hebrew, uh, nefesh, uh, God, uh, but Adam did not exist before breath and earth combined. Hmm. He came into existence only when God formed him and breathed into him the breath of life. Well, wow, that's just so illuminating. What exactly is the breath of life? Hebrew, uh, Neshama. The breath of life God gave Adam was the divine spark of life. A life-giving energy that came into the lifeless body of the first man. No, that doesn't really seem to be the same thing at all. You're, you breathe into somebody. You draw breath. A spark of energy is something else. Maybe they need the two. Maybe there's a third element. That magical spark. I'm just trying to help. All right. <sighs> this vital force did not belong to Adam, but was given to him at his creation. We see the nature of life elsewhere in Scripture. For instance, Job explained, The Spirit of God has made me, and the breath of the Almighty gives me life. Sounds like two different things, doesn't it? Then again, they're often repeating the same thing twice for poetic effect. So who knows? It could be the chorus line, for all I know. All right. It's critical to know that the same term, breath of life, is also used for animals. Wow, really? <laughs> uh, speaking of the worldwide flood in Noah's day, the Bible says, All flesh died that moved on the earth, birds and cattle and beasts and every creeping thing that creeps on the earth, and every man, All in whose nostrils was the breath of the spirit of life. All that was on the dry land died. Genesis 7, 21, 22. Emphasis added. I did too. Yeah. Uh, okay. And let's see. There's a, a little extra material here. Let me see. Is that, yeah, that's the end of that section. Let me read the rest of this extra material. But anyway. There's a diagram of all that nonsense they were talking about. All right. 
and uh, non-biblical accounts of the creation written at the same time as Genesis, probably much earlier, actually, because they needed something to copy to make Genesis. Describe people being made of divine matter, but the Bible says that mankind's physical framework came from the elements of the earth. Yeah, no. You haven't read the Epic of Gilgamesh, have you? <laughs> All right. I'm sure they did. They just didn't want to bring it up. Uh, the term formed in Genesis 2-7 comes from the same Hebrew word used to describe a potter working to create a clay vessel. See Isaiah 29-16. I'm sure we will in time. I've seen it before, but it, nothing comes to mind right now. All right, well, that is What is Life? And it's about you, you, the dust of the earth, divine breath, and maybe some sparkly magic stuff, maybe. Or maybe breathing and magical sparkles is the same thing. I don't know. Discuss. And let me know what maybe uh, you'll have an insight at, that I totally missed. I'll bet that's very possible. If so, enlighten me. I'm here to learn as well as help out. Bye. Work on.